Oh my God, check this out. I got another 85 South Show exclusive, man. Two of my real partners and two of the funniest dudes that I ever had the pleasure of working with in the comedy game. My dog, motherfucking Rito Brown. Rito Brown? What's happening, man? How y'all doing? And my motherfucking main, main champagne to Spain, Rodney Perry. Yo, what up? 85 South? Yeah. First wow. of all, a lot of people who are real 85 percenters know that Rodney Perry is one of our first guests, and he was actually in some of the episodes at Steve Harvey Studio. That so is, this is an 85 fact. South Show trap alumni. Mm -hmm. Y'all took it to saying? another level, though. Bruh, yeah. first this, of all... This is palatial. <laughs> what? Dang. This is nice. Bruh, first of all, congratulations <laughs> on the movie. Yeah, man. Me, me and your man, Nav Green. Yeah, shout out to Nav. Yeah, coming to America, too, man. Hold on, I was... Hold on. Damn, it's about that. Yeah, look out. Damn. Yeah, because he didn't tell Eddie Murphy about me. Damn. He didn't. He didn't. I think he did. He didn't. I, I was there. He... I was there. Rodney, don't cover for him. We already discussed it. <laughs> <laughs> Had he not been here before you, I would have believed okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. I, I lied a little bit. Yeah, man. Good look, man. Yeah. You did your thing, bro, and everybody's seeing you, man. Yeah. I'm glad you're back, man. You're back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how about this, though? I, I can't let you sing my praises. Like, so, me and Carlos go back to Who's Got Jokes. Yes. Yeah. And I can honestly say I knew. You know, so you see some comedians, and you be like, I don't know what that nigga might have it. That nigga definitely had it. Immediately, you just Immediately, knew. because we would put comics through these little obstacles. And I remember it just wasn't nothing that could shake this dude. And I'm, I remember thinking, that dude ain't like, he ain't the little homie, he one of my peers. Mm from day one. Mm. And so just to see you evolve and your comedy grow and, and, and this thing grow, that's, that's beautiful, man. man. This yeah. right here is, you know, it was just one of those things that was missing. I feel like we're picking up where the foxhole left off. Yes, sir. Yes, you get sir. what I'm saying? And I was on the foxhole. I know. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Just give us one of those good old foxhole stories. Well, well, first of all, nobody tell a better story than Jamie Foxx. Mm. First of all. Jamie Foxx is, Jamie Foxx and Bill Bellamy. Yeah. Best storytellers all time. Because they got the million of them. And, and, and they got all the stories. And so, uh, myself, Corey Holcomb, Speedy, uh, Tangerine, it was just so many names, so many faces we would do. It, it, was, just, it was just great. It's like, it's like, it would have become what y'all have become in, if we was in y'all time, maybe. Right. You know what I mean? Because we had the big celebrity of Jamie, but we was all kind of incubating at the same time. Right. So, uh, but to watch what y'all have done is kind of another bigger thing almost yeah. because y'all did it without celebrity at the outset. Right. And that, that's You know what I loved about the foxhole, though, is that Jamie Foxx let everybody be a star. You yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like whatever level he was on. But that's the he, dude he is, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, if Jamie was here right now and Steven Spielberg comes sit down, he going to introduce us. He not gonna let you sit there and not know Steven Spielberg. He, hey, hey Steve, you, you you gotta know. The, and he big up your intro too, cause right. the intro is everything in the game. Right. Yeah. Right, that's dope. Man, this dude right here, man. <laughs> this one, this dude, one of the most creative minds. Yeah. On the on the on the sketch comedy man. by itself. Yeah. That's the biggest shit about it. Yeah. Like man. he got classics out there. Man, I appreciate that, man. I'm having fun with it still though. I think that's the beauty of it, especially the way social media moving so fast. You, yeah. can, get, you can get popular for anything now. So, right. So really, like, sit down and do a sketch like the one we just did with Moneybag, and for people to still appreciate that, yeah. lets me know that, all right, we, they're still looking for comedy. You Bro, know tell them where you from, Rito. I'm from Boston, man. <laughs> you, don't know, you don't ever really run into a lot of niggas from Boston. Yeah, you no, really don't. Not, 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 not down here. They, <laughs> they be some real niggas when you do it. Every single Boston nigga is a real nigga. And he has yeah. to be, because everywhere you go, niggas be like, Boston, yeah, nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's part of being in Boston. And, and the white boy's not a game for Boston. Man, they so you got to beat your tough. ass. They will show up with 21 man. cousins. It's different, man, but I love it. I love Boston, but I love coming, like, to Atlanta and shit, man, just to see the way y'all do shit, like, to... To be up here at this show and Rodney Perry just be here, it's crazy to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, that's the vibe out, out here. So when you do, like, you see one or two Boston people. When you see people from Atlanta or you're in Atlanta, you see everybody. Man, that's, that's because that's Atlanta, Atlanta got his own ecosystem. 
Damn, it ain't deep. like every other city has the same infrastructure, <laughs> but Atlanta got an ecosystem. Wow. Mm, you okay. get what I'm saying? Because everything in Atlanta goes a long way. Just like you said, it's like you never know who might pop up where. Yeah. And, and how about this? Atlanta also got a sense of history. Yes. You know, like I'm from Chicago. You know, I've, I've lived in different cities, New Orleans and L.A., but Atlanta has a certain link to like black history that I really enjoy. That's one of the, the things culture. I like about this. The yeah. culture. Yeah. You know. And it's everything. Like we've seen it to well, not being from here, we I've seen it first with music. Right. You know what I mean? We've seen how when Atlanta kicked the door down, it wasn't just one person. It was literally like every week there's somebody new from Atlanta coming out. Right. And with social media it was the same thing. Like when you see DC come out, money bags right behind them. Right. And, and you, it, it's just crazy, man, to see the way like Atlanta really sticks together, bro. That shit's dope to me. Man, that's because it's such a the ecosystem is set up for it to to work that way. Yeah. You gotta come. You, it's certain things that's just gonna happen if you do this shit right in mm -hmm. Atlanta. Yeah. Like, cause that's the type of city it is, nigga. If you do music, at some point, it's some people you gonna have to see. Because you're in the yeah. business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like if you're an entertainer, bro. If you ain't figured out a way to get any kind of role on the Tyler Perry, <laughs> if you ain't did nothing you, over you, there, you got to work a little hard. You got you to gotta figure out what you're doing. Yeah. You ain't been in the background because he's putting everybody, everybody. in you, the scene. You ain't been, you ain't been on, on the little lot yet. You ain't even went out. I'm talking about you ain't been invited to audition. You ain't been a Tyler Crib. Come on, man. Your man, name you got to come up. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. not necessarily that we got gatekeepers in Atlanta, but we have people who still active in a lot of different industries who have yeah. access to a lot of different things. Yeah, I put in the Tyler too. Perry movie from Uptown. Exactly. I'm in Uptown doing a set. Roger Bob said, hey, man, I'm going to give you a call tomorrow. And he did. Right. <laughs> it's Atlanta. <laughs> so, yeah. man, right, man, tell me what it's like, man, to be getting these movie roles and being able to do your thing. At this point of the game, you get what I'm saying, right? Because right. you, I like, I don't want to bring up the situation, but you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. It's like you had a moment where you had to stop everything and regroup right. and get yourself back together, and, and now it's like. And 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 I, I, I I'm transparent about it. For anybody that don't know, I had a stroke four years ago, and so that's a stop down. You know, you got to stop down. You got to regroup. You got to get yourself back healthy, and uh, you know, you do that, and uh, that's why kind of COVID don't scare me. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not dis disrespectful because COVID will come right. tap your ass on the shoulder. Right. But but uh, at the same time, you know, God give you a new lease. You know, I feel like I got a new lease on life. I still I still love comedy. Right. You know, I'm out every weekend telling jokes, and that's the gift, man. Right. That's the gift. It, and we get to we get to lighten the collective burden. That's what I, I call what we do as comedians. We we lighten the collective burden. When I watch you guys on that stage having fun and y'all have created a new thing. Oh yeah. You know, and I'm like, yo, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it made, it made know, me look at comedy different just to see y'all do it on that on that stage like every week. Y'all made it y'all made it made crazy. what we do into a band. Yeah. Like a music band. and we always it's such a solitary profession. And so to see three guys get to have fun and rock together, that's something else. Right. That's dope. Right, man. That's that's what I've been telling people all the time. It's just like, this shit is so, who knew? Yeah. And the people make this shit dope because they yeah. support it. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, they helped us create a lane. Wow. And now we in it. And we trying to bring every, you know what I mean? Bring the whole ecosystem here to let a motherfucker know that we see everything that y'all see and we are fans of who y'all are fans of. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this is the comedy network. It ain't just about us, we just happen to be the drivers. Wow. You get what I'm yes, saying? Sir. So we try to get everybody that we can that we can bring on our platform. It take you back to who's got jump. You was like, I ain't got no choice. I had no choice, bro. <laughs> you no don't choice. understand. I'm about to get in. understand no. how real my life was at that point. How real was Man, it? Though? I'm talking about, bro. I'm on probation, probation. Okay. Every time I go see these folks, they they want to violate me, right? Because I fit the description of the description that that describes me. Yeah. <laughs> you on every level, that? you you that guy. Like, it's on one hand. I got you telling me you a star. Then I gotta go see this lady who telling me I'm a crook and I ain't did shit. Wow. You get what I'm saying? And I done, man, I got jammed up on some bullshit somebody else did. You get what I'm saying? I yeah. let a nigga drag my car and they left some, they left some roaches in the ashtray. Yeah. I ain't never, as long as I ever smoke weed, I ain't never left my roaches in the ashtray. <laughs> 
So oh. does that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on probation for this shit, and they trying to make it seem like I had nine keys. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> motherfucking dope. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? How dare you? You lucky I don't suspend your license, asshole. They were making <laughs> threats and this. Bruh, Meanwhile, you, you on TV. Bro, I'm still getting. And we I'm playing. We doing tricks. Post traumatic stress of this lady saying my name some nights. I wake up and all I can hear is Mr. Miller. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Miller. What was her name? I don't have no night, no clue, cause she said my name so good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Miller. <laughs> Everybody in my family know I hate that shit, so sometimes they'll just be like, Mr. Miller. <laughs> oh, she was strange as wow. hell, bro. Ah, oh, so I get on Who's Got Jokes. That shit was just crazy. I'm like, what is they doing? Because you know Who's Got Jokes didn't want to give you no money till you won. I'm no. like, I need some money to <laughs> Right that. now, right Y'all want me to be on this show for 16 weeks for free? How many rounds is it? Right. Where is the money? Yeah. Bill keep coming out here with these fresh ass leather outfits and shit. <laughs> I am hungry. I just come to If Roddy Fair interview me one more time. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. I remember You took I, that shit with so much stride though. Like bruh. it was like nothing could shake you. And I was like, dude, that dude the star, man. Man, because so like, the shit, you, you the shit I was doing tell. outside was way realer than that. So with like when you seen him performing, you couldn't even tell he had all that going on. Uh, I, I mean, I would you wouldn't know until you know. Yeah. You wouldn't know unless you knew. But it, it was just like whatever was whatever he was dealing with, it didn't stop him from being funny. Mm. And that, that that's what was important. Right, that was the, the drive. Cause it's just like you get to the to the razor's edge, and you you know how you get to that point where it's like you get you're doing comedy, and you're like, I gotta make something work. Right. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this has to work. This is yeah. this is my plan. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no going back. Like, ain't no, this is the plan right now. At some now. point, you're too far up the road to go anywhere but forward. Exactly. <laughs> like, ain't no something. going back. We here now. Yeah. Well, if, okay, y'all don't hear me? Okay, these folks on the TV gonna hear me then. Yeah. Y'all playing, and they need to know that y'all playing, because I'm hungry today. Wow. Right. You get what I'm saying? Now, how do you reconcile that when you're not hungry no more? I'm still Or how do you stay hungry? I'm still hungry. Rodney, this is what the game been giving me. Sips. It's just sips. We was all waiting. Like, what is this gonna be? Right, I ain't got to walk in and goddamn. <laughs> you ain't got to tell to eat. Eat good. What's that? <laughs> Give me that. Yeah. I ain't got to eat. Right. Bro, right they right, let right. me. I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't. Have, they ain't let me yeah, eat. It definitely levels to eat. I want. It levels to eat. I want some sure. of them noodles they got right there. Yeah. I ain't had none of them. Yeah. 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 Kevin Hart got to show his plate. We ain't even seen. Bruh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, he can yeah. be that famous. Now, yeah. Don't know comedian. Have you ever heard a comedian say they want to be as famous as Kevin Hart? That is too famous. Yeah, that's so? high. Too famous. Yeah, that's high. He, like, they the comedy, get bro. The comedy rock star thing is real with that nigga. It's real. Bro. Yeah. It's real. It's he, real. It's a different level. Yes. I be forgetting nigga, my friend. He, yes, that's what I'm saying. He's he's so famous. He the. He the most famous, famous that the comedian that a nigga can yeah. be at this yeah. point. He is yeah, the Jeff like... Bezos of nigga fame. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to be that famous. Yeah, that's too, you sure? Too I swear. This I'm, you look, don't want to be that? Like, I, but know, that's the, that's the I know exactly what my limit is. You said you want the food? Yeah, okay, check that's this the out. noodles you're that's talking about. Me. I'm eating for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I don't want, okay, this is the level I want my fame to stop at. Okay. Uh, I right. never want to be famous enough where you can fuck somebody and they famous. Wow. But you do that famous man. No, don't. You that famous. <laughs> you can't say no, that, Rodney. You are you that famous that. right now. No. Damn. No. Go fuck somebody. Nah, I ain't know. Go fuck somebody right now for how much money she See, made. This is Look at this bitch. She rich. She hot. She rich. She gonna be hot in the streets? No, I want to stay at the level where somebody be like, I fuck Carlos. And they be like, you just a freak, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you just a freak in your lady. Uh, hey, I, 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 I push back with you a little bit. You are that famous now, oh, right now. Man, I hope not. I'm yeah, too yeah. humble then. Yeah, you humble. I'm either going to have to step up or get down. <laughs> well, or both. <laughs> Why? That's if that's the case, I had no idea. Hey. Well, look, man, this is only the intro. We're going to get back to this shit in a minute. This is the 85 South Show. I see y'all. And I am that famous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll do this, do the All second right. half after this. I'm a good All right, let's regroup. What's up, Birmingham? 